What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 Maine. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. Got ourselves a fly ass engine right here, baby. Well, it's not really nice right now. We can make it nice. Yes. Yes, we can. It's gonna be sweet. Because we got a brand new model. And it's super sexy. It's a 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302. And it's made by, it's uh, spelled A-M-E-I-S-I-N. You can say that AIM is in or it's amazing. Everything's just so amazing. He's the mod author. <laughs> That's how I'll probably say it for the rest of the day. Just like Nick Kroll did in the Kroll show. Everything's just so amazing. But it is a big old rust bucket right here, man. It is nasty. Gotta take all these pieces off now, right, man. Gotta take these pieces off right here, man. But it's super duper pretty. There have been a bunch of people who have been asking for Ford Mustangs, and there's a couple of them, uh, including another Ford Mustang. The amazing has uh, come up with, um, but it's from the 90s, which it, the 90s Mustangs are okay, you know? They're all right, they're all right, you know? To people, some people, they love it. Like, uh, when it comes to like 1980s Ford Mustangs, I think those things are worst looking cars in the history of mankind. Those boxy Ford Mustangs. Not a fan. I was never a fan of them. But some people love them. Like, this is my dream car. I'm like, ooh, alright. Hey man, I'm not gonna stop on your dream. Just not my, just not my cup of tea. A lot of them were just gabbing. Most cars after the, uh, after 19, like, 78 are just real trash. Get all boxy, trying to get more economical because of the gas problems that were happening in the 1980s. When innovation went down the tube. All those big gas guzzlers, all those nice lined cars, they all went down the tube for about a good decade. So they started getting revived back in the 90s. Oh, oh no, rocker arms. But we're going to take this bad boy apart. We've already, uh, in the time lapse, I just kind of started. Let's start everything off with the time lapse. Why not? Just to get everything on the undercarriage all nice and neat. Get you, get you all feeling good in your underbritches. Gross. Uh, let's see here. Boop, 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 boop. Hood. Hood. Very, very cool. Uh, let's get them spark plugs. Nice. Engine head, V8 OHV. We're gonna we're missing a bunch of parts on here, so we're gonna have to purchase them as well. But uh, this is the only thing we really have to work on today is the engine. Nice. And then we'll go drive it. And we're keeping it. It's gonna be nice. We've been doing a couple jobs on the side here. Mostly, mostly uh, cheap jobs. Just trying to get the uh, just trying to get the level up. So close to level 40, we're actually, we're, oh yeah, we did pass level 40, on level 39, oh nice, so we're ever so close to level 40, but we got a ways to go, a ways to go, a way a ways, ahoy ahoy, alright, I always seem to put the, like, the cool cars over on that side, because I always think that we're going to put on some, I was working on some cars over here. So I've loaded that up over there, and then I had to load up the uh, a brand new one for the body parts over here, and then I did this one. Now we're so far away, so far away from me, so far I just can't see. Bom, 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 bom. So far away from me, boom! It's so far away from me. Let's go ahead and we'll put together some valve push rods. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need 16 of them Jones. Boom. I'm gonna need some more rack amps. Getting some rack. Rack. Boom. 16. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Manifold V8 OHV manifold. Two of them Jones because we have none. We need some spark plugs. No, no, nine, no, nine. Eight. Pistons. Awesome. Uh, 
Rod Caps. We'll need ADU. And caps. Camshaft. Crankshaft bearing caps. Probably need three. You know, I'm going to grab four just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, we need some engine cover. Or not. Engine head. Hey, there you are. Um, oh, my belly's rumbling. Need to get some breakfast. Quick, someone got in some Quick, someone got in some breakfast. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Filter OHV filter. We're going to need an oil. V8 OHV. We're also going to need a fuel tank, which I did not see in our time lapse. Got a fuel filter, and I'm sure we'll be missing some parts as we go along. Boom. Let's go ahead and we'll put that filter on there, man. Oh yeah, we're gonna need an old... Oh, man, let's see. We'll see. Boom. I'll tell you what here first. Let's go ahead and we'll get a flywheel. Nice. Nice and fixed up. Now the rest of it's all garbage, though. Clutch. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, the uh, plate usually... Uh, oh, not just one. The plate usually uh, repairs. But I always seem to buy for some reason. And I have to slow down on that. Because sometimes it's repaired. You know? i got to believe in myself. If you want it, you got it. you just got to believe. Believe in yourself, yeah. Come on, let's move on over. Put that joint right in there, man. Oh, can I can I hit the camshaft from here? Ah, ah, camshaft. Boom. Camshaft V8 OHV, baby. Boom. There we go. Now, I know you can't reach it from here, but just let's just let's just pretend. Let's pretend that we are in the land of make believe, and then I can reach that and install it from here. Okay, 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 okay. Ready? Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, man, my weekend was alright. Mondays are the worst day for me. I think it's the worst day for everybody. So let's perk everybody up here with a little bit of an engine rebuild, and then we'll just pop it into a brand new ride. I figure that would be the nicest way to ease you into your day. Why, thank you, Diesel. You know what? You're welcome. You're welcome. And it looks like we just need that third one. That's all. We don't need the fourth one. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Looking good. Boom. Boom. Awesome. Oh, and we'll put the oil cover. Oil pan up here. Oil cover. Oil pan, oil cover. Whatever floats your boat, whatever tickles your fancy. Let's go ahead and we'll take you. Oh. Oh. You know, I, I saw a video of somebody actually turning this and uh, looks like he was having a time of it. Um, let's see. Give me 8 OHV. We need a cam. Let's say V8. Okay, no, it didn't. <clears throat> like, why would that be? Why would that be? The ignition. The distributor. Uh, we're gonna need clip. Not clip. Not clip. Like clip gator. All right, let's put that there. Uh, timing belts. That's what we need. Need timing. Whoa, 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 whoa. V8 OHV, boom. Um, serpentine. Serpentine. Come on. What? I want to watch you scream. Bada, bam, bam, bada. Wow. Where are you at? Where you at, kid? I always get in trouble. Oh, there we go. People always get triggered when I look for the serpentine belts. They're confusing. In some ways. Most ways. How about you? Awesome. How about you? 
Awesome! Alright, let's troll on these clips because they're annoying. Awesome, good stuff. Whoa, hey, hey. Put on the fuel filter. Ah, oh, time and cover, boo. Ah. Oh. Time and cover, boo. Ah. Oh. Oh. Beautiful thing, man. Alright, so we'll see if these alternators. Alternator the power steering. See if that got fixed. It did. Beautiful. This thing was a complete nightmare of a rust bucket. It was so rusty. Aye, it was rusty. Aye, it was rusty bloody. And we're gonna need a pulley anyway. How about the water pump? Pump. Good. So this way we can purchase the pulleys. Oh yeah, we're gonna need an ignition. Ignition coil B. Oh, we don't even have one. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, ignition coil. Wait. And let's go ahead and we'll get some pulleys up in this joint. Crankshaft pulley. And then we need a water pump pulley. Awesome. Grab you. Boom. Oh, we don't need bolted? It's just staying on there? Okay. Okay. I see, I see what you're trying to pull here. Let's grab a serpentine belt. Serpentine, ignition coil, boom. Did we fix the fan? We did not. It is not a fan of the fan. Fan. Say it again. Everyone with me. Fan. All right. Beautiful. We're all all together now. Everyone's in sync. Everyone's in unison. It's good. 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 All right. Let's put this here. And now the fun part. Push rods. Push rods. Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins. Ow. Now, normally, from what I've seen, you gotta put the... I think it's... Uh, not normally. You know, I, I act like I know what I'm talking about. I've never built an actual engine. But from videos that I've seen, it looks like you gotta put the rods on first and then it slides on. I don't know. I don't know. I was watching a time-lapse of Haggerty. The, uh... They got a bunch of uh, awesome, like, real deal time lapses of them rebuilding engines. Uh, I'll put a link in the description down below. <laughs> You've probably seen it. It's got about 4 million views on it. But it's if uh, something that you're interested in checking out, and you can actually see how exactly one of these engines gets put together from scratch. They tear it down, put it all back together again. And it's uh, it's actually really satisfying to see, them, to see them just get to work on it. And you're like, oh, so that's how it's all done. I've been living in a world of fantasy. Which is fun. A little bit of fantasy. A little bit of you and me. Boom, boom. Alright. Other side. Can I see you? I sure can. Okay. Okay. It's so bright over here. It's this side that's always shiny. Way too shiny. Mm-hmm. 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 Love it. Boom. All right. Now the most annoying part. Most annoying part's talking to me. There! Oh, you got me. You got me. This guy's got jokes over here. Hey, everyone. This guy's got jokes. All right. Rocking our arms. Throwing them on there. Boom. A boom. And... Last one. Engine cover right. Dropping it in there. And then all we have to do is get a gearbox. And I think the drive shaft got shaft. We're getting shafted on the drive shaft. And the gearbox. And the stata. Which I don't even think we have. We didn't even get the starter. Hey. Hey. Now, Diesel, why is it called the Boss 302? Well, the Boss 302 was something that was like a project. It was like a secret. It was a secret. It was a secret project. That was made for, I think it was Bunky Knudsen? Yeah, that's his real name. Actually, no. It wasn't his real name. Bunky was like a nickname, but they just called him Bunky. As everyone does call anybody by their, uh... Back in the 69, I think they were trying to make it put together like a NASCAR kind of engine. 
NASCAR feel. But uh, the person who was designing it, since it was so secret, when anybody asked him, hey, what are you, what are you working on? And I said, ah, it's a car for the boss. And that's the reason why you get the boss. Diesel, I did not know that, and nor did I need to know that. You know what? You know what? You're just, you're welcome. All right? Just, just take whatever information I can give you. Which is not much. But enough. Awesome. Boom. Now, there are two kinds of bosses. There's the boss 302 and there's the boss 429, which is a little more power. Oh, more power. But other than that, it's nice. All right, so air filter base. Air filter. We're going to need the two carb. There's the filter. And then we're going to need a little cover for it. Boom. And we're going to need the... Where are you at? There you are. Boom. There you are. Nice. Awesome sauce. Hey, look at us. We're all, we're all done and everything with this. Look how pretty you is. Nice. All right, so let's take this. We'll drop it over to there. It's a shame that this doesn't like dangle, but you know what? I'll be fine. If, I'll be fine that it doesn't dangle or dangle Donald. Dongle dangle. Hey, hey. Okay. Alright, so let's lift this joint up. I'll tell you what we'll return you. She's beautiful. Make me beautiful, duets. Alright. Oh, did the gearbox get. Yeah, alright. It did. Yeah, yeah, alright. Yeah. Fixed. Starter, we don't have a starter. That I know. That I know we did not get a chance to rock and roll with. Did not remember taking that off. So we'll put one on for you. And hey, can I Oh, see we draw shaft shaft this. Sh shaft! You damn right. Expensive. But necessary. Good stuff. All right, so we got to put those tires on now. I've already purchased the tires. Nothing too crazy, so you don't have to worry about taking the tires off from the car salon. But you do have to get them. Um, I'm going with the rim retros. Sorry, I'm adjusting, and I sit on my foot like a child, so I have to. <laughs> it's asleep now, so now I need to get it. Get blood back moving. So the vintage, the vintage tire B are what the original ones, two twenty five fifty, which is standard. So you can actually purchase these. You don't have to worry about taking them off from the car salon parts. They work. So you can, uh, you can put pretty, pretty much any tire that you want on there. But we're gonna keep it straight up. Oh, gee, 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 son. The restoration. All the rest, all the regular restored parts must be on it. Balance you up. Buttercup. It's a good time. Oh, level 40 is in our grasp. She is in our reach. And we shall reach for the stars. Excellent, Smith. It's excellent. Balance you out. And scream and shout. And balance all out. I think, yeah, I think definitely this is going to be our restoring pod, if you are a restoring station, if you will. This way, it's nice and close, so I don't have to uh, go all, all cross God's green, uh, God's green creation, God's rusted out creation, to get to the car, so I can kind of maneuver and pop these wheels on when I need to. Because otherwise, I have to walk all the way over here. Oh my God. Let's go ahead and we'll pop you over here as well. Gotta get all the rust out. Gotta get the rust out. Beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Grab you. Last one. Since it's doing its thing, chicken wing, you know what I'm saying? Let's take this. We'll put the detailing kit over here. 
Now it's a little blasphemous, but in the inside he has a Dodge, uh, the Dodge uh, Charger interior, which is fine because it looks real nice. So that's exactly what I'm gonna put on it. But uh, I was looking, I was like, ooh, it's gotta sting a little bit. It's gotta sting. Everything here is looking real nice. Then we have Dodge, we have the Dodge interior. I'm like, mmm, hurts. It hurts my soul. Someone's gonna be angry about that. <laughs> but I promise you, it looks really nice. It's gonna look like super sweet. I still haven't bought, I still haven't bought it yet, so we'll see. We'll see. Boom, boom. Where are you at? There you is. Nice. All right. Drop it low. All right. So front right seats and even the back bench. No one else to work with. Okay. I'll see what. You, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead. <laughs> it's like no, 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 wrong, wrong. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll grab the body spot. Oh, it's the body spot. I need interiors. Whoa, whoa, game. You all right there? You all right there, Tiger? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Ooh. We having some trouble. We are having some trouble. All right. Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? 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 Hmm. Beep beep. Hmm. Decisions. Uh, let's see. Can I put anything in the back there? I don't think I can. Tell you what. I'm not seeing what the, the actual back seat was actually looking like here. Of course I can't recall. I'm a silly goose. Um but I'll tell you what, we'll get rid of this. Let's just go to all. And we'll get the Dodge chat and the Dodge Chaja Pass. Very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead, grab you. Two. Heat typhoons. Oh, crap. Oh, it is a challenger seat. Never mind. But this is just, it's just this bench. Hmm. Got some decisions to make here. All right. All right. See Challenger. I'm being challenged by the seat. Get it? Yeah, you guys get it. All right, here. So, the steering wheel is also the Dodge. It's this one. It actually looks pretty nice. But I think we'll just roll. Uh, you know, let's just get it. Let's just screw it. Screw it. We're doing live. Okay, so. When you take this apart and strip it down, because uh, they haven't been able to, uh, it'll be in a future update, but modders can't add their uh, own parts to the website. So whenever you need to get body parts or anything special that this one particular car has, you have to go to the car salon and purchase the car outright. That being said, when you strip down the car, you usually just need the body parts. This bench seat can only be stripped off of the car salon version because this is oh hello bench roadrunner this is not in the game period um it may be in the game but i'm not quite sure but it's definitely something that's custom that is not in the original vanilla game so you will need to strip that out as well i think it's i think there's like hidden parts in the game at the moment 
where uh, they're looking for future DLC that's kind of like, eh, I'm not going to show you, but it's in the game files. You can go ahead and you can unlock those. I'm not sure if those are in there yet as well. But this guy, who's amazing, uh, is coming up with a bunch of cool cars. So keep, uh, keep your eyes posted. So let's go ahead and we'll drop it in there. So yes, I was like, how comes this is not working? Oh, it's because it's not there. Oh, so I, I didn't feel so bad. I thought it was, I thought it was 100% of moron. Just turns out... I'm still 100% of more on just thing isn't in the game. Nice. All right, let's get that bumper on there. Looking pretty and shiny and new. Left headlight, right headlight. Awesome. Left fender. Get the windows in there. Let's go ahead. And, well, now we might as well leave that up. Might as well. Now there is a windshield behind here, so you definitely have to look at that. Look at the bumper on there. Left tail light man. Right tail light man. I said. All right. So since we did have to leave, we got to put this stuff back. No. Pardon me. Are you serious? Not you, Siri. I can't move this. I'll tell you. This game. Alright, so let's grab the battery. Can I at least move you? There we go. See, so move equipment. There we go. No, no. There we go. Yes. Gotta make it all pretty and sparkly. Go ahead. Show you in there. One thing that I have noticed is this uh, this car is missing a fuel tank. So the fuel tank in the back. Let me see if that's uh, not meant to be. <laughs> That'd be a kind of a kicker. I'm turning you. I can't. There we go. For some reason, I could not select that, and I was hitting right. I was hitting right click and left click. Yeah, there's no fuel tank. No fuel tank and no fuel, uh, fuel pump, player. Where are we going to put all the gasoline? Alright. Nice. Let's go ahead and put some oil on this John. And this Jammerama. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Boom. Now we do need to put some license plate on here. But that'll be in a second, because we're going to paint this up. No, wrong button. Button. Wrong button. Watch out for the door. Woo! <laughs> hey, hey. Hey now. Alright. Are there any libraries with this? Nope. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now that's all kinds of pretty, baby. Look at that. Ah, that's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and we'll take this over here. Assem no, not assemble mode. Where am I going? I'm losing my mind. That whole, the whole bench part like threw me off for the morning. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, what? What's happening? All right, so get some license plates. Dubai, rather than Pennsylvania, so we put on Pennsylvania plates. Got a problem with that? And this one's going to Mr. Nathan, Nathan Rubenstein. Nathan, boom. We just need one plate. Really? Is there any place to stick a license plate? This is gonna stay at 99% body condition. Oh, Nathan. 
I'll have to get you a new ride. Or we'll just keep this one, this one. Just keep your... This is yours. But... Well, shucks. Well, shoot. But it does look pretty, though. You know what I mean? Can't go wrong. Alright. Let's go to the racetrack. Oh, it's missing a U-bolt, huh? Oh! How'd I miss that? Come on, now. Come on, Diesel. I thought you was better than that. I thought I was, too. Hold on here. Up you go. Up, up, up. Up, Gunther. Up. Well, I'll be Hornswoggle. It's missing two of them. <laughs> Whoops, Sid. Forgot the U-bolts. They're shiny and new. There we go. Now we're pretty. Now we're pretty. Hey, all right. Hey, all right. We figured it out. Boom. Boom. It sure does look pretty. Nathan, let me know in the comment section. What's up? I'll message you. We'll, we'll figure it out. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, you're so pretty looking. Here's the one thing that I kind of uh, dig, but at the same time I kind of don't. It's uh, the, the lighting out here. It kind of looks like we're in the 70s. Anybody else notice that? Anybody have that feeling we're in the 70s? Because even it feels weird if we have a brand new car and it feels like I'm bringing it back in time. But enough about me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh man. Oh crap. It's always that first turn. Other than that, man, she drives like a dream, dude. But it's gotta handle the power. Just because you have power does not mean you can handle it. Controls in this game are whack. <laughs> Just takes a little bit of getting used to, I suppose. Hello. Hello, tires. Where are you going? We're going good. Don't worry about... Don't worry about the roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh. There we go. Top side of two twenty four. Good lord. Boom! <laughs> That's okay though, because we will, we live in a world of fantasy. A little bit of you and me. Very cool. Very very cool. It sure is pretty, folks, and it sure sounds pretty as well. Mr. Nathan, this is your boss Mustang, 1969 Mustang 302. Because you're a boss and amazing. Very, very cool. If you want to check out the rest of the cars and you want to see the list of cars that he's uh, planning on coming out with, the link is in the description down below. But folks, that is going to be our episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. It helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Hold on a second. Inventory. Sell us the junk. Sell all of the junk. How is, it, how is all this stuff not junk? If I can't repair this and it's at a crappy condition. Why is this not junk? I don't get it, so we'll just sell all of it. I need to make some cash back from some, from getting triggered by all the uh, bench seats that I couldn't find, and then I couldn't find them because they're not in the game. Gotta, gotta go purchase it. Yes. But everyone, have a great day, afternoon, evening, uh, good night, peace out, like shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, baby.
next time. Alright, they're going straight into the garage. Yes, you are. How much is this thing worth? Oh, it is at 100%, 100%. Beautiful. $46,000. That's, that's realistic. Sarcasm.